Victor Steinberg, a dear friend, and I first met him in 1958 when I came to Seattle to the University of Washington to uh, try to uh, institute a department of landscape architecture. And what happened was uh, the feds, uh, uh, in alignment with business interests in Seattle, uh, decided that the Pike Place Market was an anachronism and they should tear it down and build a world-class hotel and convention center. So Victor uh, uh, began a campaign, Victor and Fred Bassetti, Ibsen Nelson, they were all architects, and I was the token landscape architect, I suppose. And uh, we started Friends of the Market. We got a, a, an initiative passed by the public and lo and behold, we stopped, uh, we uh, tore up 23 schemes that had been made for the conversion of the Pike Place Market Park into this uh, proposed uh, trade center. So that's how uh, Victor and I worked together from very early days. And then about 10 years after we saved the Pike Place Market Park, with a lot of help from other people and so on, of course. Uh, then we were awarded the chance to uh, design the, uh, Vic, uh, it was then called the Pike Place Market Park. It's uh, one acre, actually, it's 100 feet by 300 feet and it parallels, it's a northern extension of the Pike Place Market. And uh, there are two totem poles there that uh, Victor and I went up into the uh, great woods, uh, uh, federal forest, and uh, selected the trees. And they were logged and brought down and carved by a uh, Native American. And that's kind of a symbolic feature there. It was very carefully designed to be kind of rough and tumble like the, the people that live around there and need the park more than others. And so it is it really, when you think about it, it's the only uh, Belvedere eye over Elliott Bay and greatest view of the Olympic Mountains. Yes, I think it was 1982 the park was opened and dedicated. We did, uh, we had a quite a limited budget for an urban park, you know, which has a lot of hard, hard stuff to it. And our first games were terraces and stairways and a lot of the budget went there, and then I said, well, hey, how about having a, a privately owned, operated garage on, built in, tucked into the hillside? We can get three levels of parking there, 300 cars, and um, that'll, then they'll, we'll have a tabla rasa, we'll have a platform to put the park right up at street level, the whole nine yards, as they say. Uh, since then, there have been uh, seven, I could document seven attempts to uh, coerce or modify the park. And uh, some of those we had to go to uh, court, file lawsuits. However, the uh, park department would not let us include Pike Place Market Park, our Victor Steinbrook Park. It became named after him as a memorial when he passed away around 1987. Victor Steinbrook Park is the most populated, the most heavily used park. It has the widest range of humanity and more foreign languages you can hear there and uh, down and outers come and panhandle and uh, it's just a very rich milieu and then the tourists come in, they're coming in now in their shorts and they will subsume the park for a while, but uh, it's just a joyous expression and it, it's a Belvedere.